So Disney woke up today and said to the Daredevil writers and directors, apparently, you're fired. But my question is why? Is it because of uh, Mr. Peltz? Did it come from Iger? Did it come from Feige? Is it because what they had planned was W-O-K-E and they're finally turning the ship around? I'm very curious. The upcoming Daredevil Born Again series for Disney Plus is undergoing some behind-the-scenes changes. According to The Hollywood Reporter, Marvel Studios fired Chris Ord and Matt Corman, the head writers of Daredevil Born Again. The writers begin being let go, reportedly took place back in September. Mm -hmm. And the directors of the Disney Plus original series were also let go, as well as part of what is being called a creative reboot to the show. So it must mean, because even Cox had said it was going to be different. And we all know what he probably meant by different. We got a little taste of it in She-Hulk. So hopefully, good God, hopefully this is the start of them reboating, rebooting into good entertainment again. The outlet states Marvel is looking for new writers and directors with Daredevil set to star Charlie Cox, reprising his role as the Daredevil, the devil of Hell's Kitchen, along Vincent D'Onofrio, also reprising his role as the King Ben. By the way, I was in a small car accident the other day. The cop that came to do the, he looked just like King Ben. Just like him. He was like, nah, it's just because I'm a, when I tell you, he looked exactly, I, I should have got a picture of him. Like, can I take a picture with you? <laughs> I swear. Production on Daredevil Born Again paused in June due to the writer's strike, which looks like it's coming to an end with an agreement being struck between both sides. The search for writers and directors isn't the only change coming from the Daredevil reboot. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has reportedly decided to take a different approach to the series which allegedly was a legal procedure that was different from its predecessor on Netflix. Marvel, after greenlighting the concept, found itself needing to rethink the original intention of the show. Uh -huh. Marvel TV is overhauling its approach to making content. Marvel Studios is reportedly lean, uh, leaning more heavily on TV showrunners for its upcoming streaming projects, which is a different approach from relying on movie executives that caused problems as fans and critics wanted more interconnectivity and time with the characters. We wanted more than just that. The limited series model seems to be on hold for the moment as everything gets retooled. When asked about showrunners, Marvel's head of streaming, Brad Winderbaum, said, it's a term we've not only grown comfortable with, but also learned to embrace. We need executives that are dedicated to this medium that are going to focus on streaming, focus on television, because they are two different forms. We're trying to marry the Marvel culture with the traditional television culture, Winderbaum added. It comes down to how can we tell stories in television that honor what's so great about the source material. <laughs> that's what it's always been about. Whether you're doing a movie or television series that's based on books or based on comic books or whatever have you, you want to honor the source material properly. And they haven't been. And that's the reason for the decline in everything. Another change coming in the future is shows getting more than one season. For example, Loki is the only Marvel series on Disney Plus to get a second season, which launched last week. 
Marvel has leaned into making event television with shows like Secret Invasion getting the limited series treatment, which is it, Secret Invasion was terrible. Fans have wanted shows like Ms. Marvel and Moon Knight to get additional seasons, which would allow the creative teams to flesh out the characters more. So I don't want more if if you're going to be W-O-K-E. And now have to worry about waiting for their next appearance on the big screen. Ms. Marvel is set to join Captain Marvel and Monica Rambeau in the Marvels next month. That'll be both of them on the big screen for the first time, right? Besides Captain Marvel, right? Uh -huh. Even though the production on Daredevil Born Again was suspended amid writers and actors strikes earlier this year, Charlie Cox's next role in the MCU will come prior to his solo series. Marvel has confirmed Cox's Daredevil is due to return in Echo. In the synopsis filed to the United States Copyright Office of Marvel by Marvel Studios, Cox found himself included on a cast list. Okay, I'm not reading any more of this. The fact of the matter is this. We all know, and most of us want, that if you are firing directors and writers, it's because you're firing them because they all had plans and scripts that were not what the fans wanted. And hell, maybe they held to their guns and wanted to keep going that way. Because I'm just thinking to myself, well, if they originally asked you to write garbage material, and now we decided not to put out garbage anymore, we could just have you write good material, right? Write them write good material again. I mean, I'm sure they're probably capable of that, right? And directing good material, you know? So it makes me think of uh, maybe there was some type of... Uh, coup in there or <laughs> some type of, you know, uh, of resistance going on that would make them fire them. You know what I'm saying? So, or maybe it could just be, you know, I don't know. Could be Iger, like, nah, just get rid of the whole team, come in fresh with these, this new mindset. I mean, I don't know. Feige, I, I don't know. So, <sighs> Post comments down below. Let me know what you think about the situation. Are you happy? Are you sad? Do you think it's for the better? I'm thinking with everything that's all going on and with Pelts and Iger and all, I think with all the writing on the wall, I'm thinking that it's probably for the better. 10 million subscribers.